This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Nearly 20 years ago, a bullet claimed the life of the Queen of Tejano music, Selena Quintanilla Perez, turning the singer's life into that of a legend. Her story is one that resembles in many ways a Spanish telenovela, one that left her fans from around the world both sad and wanting to know more about her. After her death, Selena's name spelled success. Television programs dedicated to her shattered ratings records. Magazines with her on the cover sold out. Her music albums sold more copies than ever before, and the movie Selena, produced by her father, Abraham Quintanilla, broke records at the box office. The film looks at the life of the beloved singer from the time she started in the music world at a very young age to her days as a renowned singer and concludes with the news of her murder. I confess that when I wrote these pages 20 years ago, I did so with Selena's music playing in the background. I did not want to lose my perspective and forget who she really was. Her voice and songs will always keep me in touch with the human side of this tragedy. While I was writing, they kept me from going too far in one direction in my struggle to remain objective. After all, Selena is no longer here to speak for herself. The music was also my shield. It protected me from Jolanda, who ended Selena's life. During our conversations, Jolanda could be charming and open, but the songs helped me to remember that it was she who silenced a beautiful voice. This book picks up right where the movie ends and tells a much more complex, profound, and controversial story of what actually happened in the last days of Selena's life. I know Selena's secret.